good morning students and welcome back again yesterday we started a new chapter that is transportation in animals and plants so we know that all living organisms like plants and animals they need food water and oxygen to survive now these substances need to be transported or delivered to each and every part of our body so it requires a transport system through which these substances need to be transported so that one type of transport system is what circulatory system it is a transport system of a human body that supplies oxygen food and water and other substances throughout the body now this human circulatory system it consists of a network it mainly consists of three parts three components blood blood vessels and heart yesterday we have discussed about blood and its components so what is blood blood is a red colored fluid that transport digestive food to oxygen nutrients other substances throughout our body so yesterday we discussed about blood and what are the different components of blood today we will be discussing our next next topic that is about blood vessels that is blood transports all the substances throughout the body through a network of tubes which are called as what blood vessels so today we will discuss about blood vessels so circulatory system is one type of transport system that transports what different substances digested food oxygen water and nutrients throughout our body you can see in the picture also that it is transporting all the substances throughout the body and what helps in this transportation it is the blood which helps to transport these substances through a tunnel like structure this tunnel like structure is called as blood vessels so these are what these are blood vessels which connects the heart to different parts of the body and help in transportation so blood vessels are thin and hollow tubes you can see in the picture also which connects the heart to different parts of our body now this blood vessels provide a pathway for the blood to flow to different parts of our body now this blood vessels can be categorized into three categories first is the arteries next veins and third one is the capillaries let's see about arteries what are arteries so arteries are blood vessels that carry oxygen rich blood oxygenated blood from the heart to different parts of our body now this arteries the walls of arteries are usually very thick the walls of arteries are thick which help to transport oxygen rich blood the walls of the artery are thick and elastic next comes what next is a vein you can see in the picture also veins are the blood vessels that carry deoxygenated blood it means carbon dioxide rich blood from different parts of the body to the heart through a opening called the valve you can see in the picture the valve allows the flow of blood only in one direction that is towards the heart the walls of vein are thinner than that of the artery next type of blood vessel is capillaries you can see in the picture also cap capillaries are extremely thin tubes present in the body which connects the artery and the vein the function of the capillary is to transport the blood from the artery towards the vein like vein capillaries too have thin walls now let's recap what are blood vessels blood vessels are thin and hollow tubes that run throughout the body now these blood vessels are of three types arteries veins and capillaries arteries are thick walled blood vessels that carry oxygen rich blood from the heart to different parts of the body and veins are thin walled blood vessels that carry 
carbon dioxide capillaries rich blood are thin from tubes different that parts connect of the body arteries to, to the, the veins heart. and cap capillaries are thin tubes that connect arteries to the veins and carry blood from the arteries to the veins